Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Attack of the Earthlings. It's pretty much reverse XCOM through and through. I've already played the tutorial, so we don't need to see it. But you're playing as... Well, I guess you get to see what, what goes on. Um, it's a little bit simpler than XCOM. XCOM is much more, like, complicated and whatnot. This is a little bit more like uh, an indie studio. I saw XCOM and was like, ooh, neat idea. Let's uh, flip it around and see what happens. And then, I think they also tried to make it much more comedic. So there's that, too. Might also be a bit loud. I'll turn it down after the cutscene. I do like the idea of, a, like, alien invasions from the opposite side, though. What game was I playing? X-Morph Defense a little while back. Uh, which was actually really neat, because it straight up was just reverse not reverse alien invasion, but, you know, reverse XCOM. Well, no, it really was. It, it was like, um, it was a tower defense, weirdly enough, which was just, it was just strange. I liked it, though. Anyway, let's, uh, now that I've turned it down, we won't be just, like, hit by awful noises. Serial drillers from outer space. The lowermost level of the mining rig is drill control, where the blue-collar boys risk their lives daily in pursuit of the noblest goal, corporate profit. This is also the entry point for the Matriarch, marking the beginning of the disastrous events to come. I don't know. I just like be being the bad guys for once. Or maybe the good guys. I don't know. G-Corp does not exactly seem... Oh, hey, Bill. I think someone's down there. Bill? Oh, it's voice acted. Weird. Or maybe it's partial? I don't actually know how voice acted this is. <laughs> Go Bill. Okay, investigate the drill. Kill Bill. Makes it easy. Oh wait. Hi, Bill. It's actually mildly tempting to leave Bill alive until the end of the game. But I'm not entirely sure how long he'd last and maybe he'd spot me if I went on adventures. So let's not do that. Uh, let's see. Controlling this game is going to take a little bit of work. Uh, as I uh, reassociate myself with controls like this. Mr. Pecker here, reminding you that the faster we bleed this backwater planet dry, the faster we can get the hell out of here. With that in mind, I'm sure you all grasp how vital it is that our motor coils remain 100% functional. That means no more using the radiation ducts to microwave your lunch, people. We can't afford another breakdown. Okay. Uh, I actually really haven't played a whole lot of XCOM-related games in quite some time. I played XCOM 2. Oh, you can attack diagonally. That's helpful. Uh, I played XCOM 2, which was fun. Um, but then I ran into, like, just this horrible plague of technical issues that kind of killed the series. I'd like to go back someday, but they're always so long. And also the randomization always kind of gets to me. I kind of prefer a specific design when it comes to levels. Let's see, there was the Mario Rabbids game. Very true, that game was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Okay, so we're playing as the Matriarch. We have a couple powers. Uh, let's see, if I kill this guy, it will not alert anybody else, cool. Okay, vents. Small units like grunts can use vents to hide and bypass obstacles. Hidden units can move between connected vents with right click. Good to know. Well, let's still kill this guy. Doesn't look like anybody's gonna be able to hear. So, I want to say this is more puzzle game than tactical game. What? Oh. Hours since last incident. <laughs> so it's aware, uh, it's aware we killed somebody, but that's about it. Okay. So I've got a duct. I actually have no idea where this ends up. But yeah, the Mario Rabbids game was actually pretty good. It was also not on PC, so there's that. 
Okay, so I can get all the way over here. Um, how? Okay, there we go. And, uh, well, death. Yeah, so this is going to be probably a little bit more on the pu puzzly side. It does look like we've got a, a vision range over here. So, enemies are pretty blind in this game. Um, it's more of a... It's more of a, like, figuring out your way around them as opposed to, like, actual ta tactical battles. And that's fine. Uh, let's see. Do I have another door? They just shot my critter. I probably could have waited around. I'm not entirely sure. You no. Know, you know what we could do? I've got more biomass. Let's just send another one. Hey, thanks for the sub, Wolf Mage. Okay, so if I come out... I don't know if I want to come out here, though. Not yet. I'm going to end turn. Let's see where the guy goes. It looks like they're also pretty blind. They don't communicate. Is he just there? Where'd he go? There we go. There he went. I don't think the robots really care about who or what I am and what I'm doing. Okay, is there a door here? No, doesn't look like there's any doors. It does look like we've got some critters. I wonder if I can actually... Oh, hey. I can hide in the storage if it becomes a problem. also wonder if I can consume my own... No. Oh, no, it costs AP. I'm curious if I can destroy my own, like, uh spent units because if I could actually get rid of the evidence of my own guys reclamation that's helpful do I get it all back how much does it cost no I only get one two two of it back out of out of four still that's exactly kind of what we needed here uh, let's see I'm gonna send him out to the coil room I don't know if we have anybody inside but I can actually just hang out in Overwatch. I'm probably going to hang out in this box for a little while. Because we know there's two guys kind of hanging out over there. Yeah, how's the gameplay on this game so far? I I mean, it's XCOM. It's not anything terribly fancy. Uh, okay, we got an engineer there, but he, he's not doing anything particular. More engineers there. We're probably going to want to take... Oh, we've got a vent. Oh. Oh. That's helpful. You can actually... You can actually see. Okay, and this is the escape. escape. Another room. I'm afraid to go in here. Yet. And I could just destroy the motor coil. It didn't seem like anybody, like, immediately attacked me. Is there just nothing in here? Am I just on my own? Yeah. Alright. They're just leaving this alone. Or leaving this alone. Leaving this whole area alone. And unprotected. Well, convenience for me. I'm going to go destroy this motor coil. Level 1. Why is my console saying that the primary motor coil is down? Is this another Steve situation? Come on, man. How many hands do you have to lose before you stop reaching over the rails? Good thing we have the two backups. Keep Steve away from them. Okay, so... Oh, we have more. Okay, so it looks like we're done with this, and I guess this area was unlocked previously. So I guess I'm just going to kill this guy. And eat him. Om nom. So I guess this door was locked the entire time and I didn't even know. Well, works better for me. Uh, we still gotta figure out where the where the guys are gonna... Well, I don't even think they're gonna come anywhere. Like, I have to go hunt them down. I guess I could just send a little alien out. Uh, so the thing is, uh, the way this game works is my matriarch is the only character that matters. I lose her. Uh, we have to we have to start over entirely. So I want to take keep her about as far away from everything as I possibly can. I am probably just gonna add, uh, you know what? Let's make another one of these guys. I'm probably just gonna keep ending turns here for a little while. Because this guy is probably gonna patrol around the entire corridor. And 
what I want to do is wait. Hmm. Is there like a quick save? Nope. I don't know. I'm just going to send out my little nibblers. Right here. And right here. Okay, so this is Overwatch. I don't entirely know where this guy's going to patrol. Okay, that actually makes this easier. Much easier. Because then all I have to do, take the Matriarch, move right here. Overwatch here. Uh, let's consume this. Nope, that's, that's Overwatch. What did I do? Uh, well... All right, eat the body. That's fine. I know eventually we, we get the ability to unlock, or unlock, uh, upgrade our critters with biomass, the resource in the top right corner. Uh, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Luckily, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so we've got two guys over there, but we want to hit the vent. Oh, maybe... Maybe this vent will let us, like, pop in over here. Because we want to go after both of these guys who are... Wait, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> I thought they were having, like, an argument, but no, they're... I kind of want to just leave these guys alive, actually. I mean, it's not like they're going to last very long. Uh, let's see. I guess let's just explore down. Wait, chances are we don't have a, many more enemies. <laughs> the, robot, the robot is mad because there's no, uh... We don't have our safety helmets on. But yeah, these guys are, uh... These guys are just playing in the in the toxic waste. Yeah, I'll, I'll let them live. They're not, they're not gonna live very long. Probably. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just pop it in the vent. Let's see where we can end up. Kinda nowhere, actually. I guess we'll just pop over here so we can see a little bit better what's going on. Um, hmm. Options aren't great. <laughs> Laugh if there's an after credit scene. Uh, okay, so I guess uh, my matriarch has like a much better vision range than anybody else. I guess that's helpful. Oh, I need to pay attention. That has audio cues. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, but yeah, it would be hilarious if if we uh, end this mission and it just shows the guys playing in the uh, in the toxic slime, completely you know unaware of the fact that everything is uh, going terribly for everybody. Uh, but, but, but. See, he's probably still not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to keep spitting clones. I think. Yeah, they're four apiece. I guess let's take this guy and head for this door. Can't see much. We've got some things. Yeah, because these two engineers are never going to see me. This guy is busy. Thing is, I could just leave the, the basic grunts to do, do their thing if I wanted to. He is not moving nearly as fast as I wanted him to. Hmm. Because effectively what I want to do is pop out the door and go after them. Luckily, the okay, he's just leaving. Makes it harder. Well, we have a vent over here. Uh, this camera angle is, leaves a little bit to be desired. Yeah, I want to leave this engineer alive for a bit. Can I just dive into the vent system? No, it doesn't look like I can immediately just go into the vent. Okay. Uh, let's see, that's a workstation. I'm just going to wait. I guess I'm going to... Let's overwatch this, just in case anything decides to to come around the corner. Uh, I mean, I guess I can just click there. I'd like to see the tiles, but the isometric perspective makes it a little harder. I don't think anybody's going to come through here, so I'm just going to wait. Okay. 
Oh, that's kind of annoying. So because I have my matriarch here, they can't move past each other. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Okay, what about my vent gremlin? So we've got a vent over here. And we've got a vent over here. I just I just want to take a look. So we do have a soldier here, but we don't have enough AP. So I'm probably just going to get my next vent gremlin into position. And then we will wait. Okay. Looks like the guys are a little bit more available to play. Uh, okay. Here's a question. If I just kill this guy... Oh, the sign the sound's blocked. Well, that's handy. Kill this guy. Who doesn't even see it coming, despite the fact that I'm standing directly next to him. I... I'm in the habit of not questioning things when I probably should. Okay, so we have the soldier up there. Makes this a lot easier. Let's see. Go kill this guy. What? I'm confused. Why it didn't just immediately... And Okay, children are not liable for overtime pay. <laughs> Your technique. Okay, so what's happening here is the robot is complementing our... Um, uh, complementing our efficiency at removing people from uh, existence. That's dark. I like it. Okay, so we have another vent gremlin. S on the topic, I don't know if we have more necessarily, but I'm just going to pop out and kill this guy. Hello! Is that it? Is he out of AP? No, he's not out of AP. We just had to wait for the... Uh, we had to wait for the little cutscene to go over. I'm actually liking this game. And there's only six levels, so I'll probably do more... Uh, probably just run the whole game. Maybe tonight if we're lucky. I'm going to have to switch after this, but that's okay. Uh, let's grab this one. And I can't pop him out on this one. So I guess we'll just pop him out over here. I'll head for Coil Room. Looks like we've still got a couple more. So I'll wait for this guy to go, the, uh, go around the corner. Okay. And we are good. Can we, can we see? Supposedly there's an engineer around here. I don't see or hear him. So my assumption is uh, he left the area. Can I close the door? No. Well, all right. Around the corner we go. Oh, I see. Door just closes automatically after a certain point. Let's see, do we have any... No, we don't have any entrances over there. I'm just going to stick the matriarch right there. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can consume my own uh, my own little guy. So we got to we gotta kill this, this coil, and then we unlock the next section over there, probably. Uh, well, options are... Let's take the expedient one. And by expedience, I mean, let's just keep popping out little minions and killing people. It works. Oh, what? Oh. It's... <laughs> There's a robot here being pummeled. Can I help it? I don't know. I guess I'll have the matriarch uh, try and help this robot over here. What is this? Crunchmatic. Aw. That poor robot. I actually would love to play this game where it's uh, a machine uprising instead. I think that actually would be really enjoyable. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to clonk him over here. We still got to break stuff. Uh, it looks like this area is a lot safer than I thought it was going to be. Oh, they're out of AP, so we're just going to wait. Phew. There's an engineer around here somewhere. Oh. Oh, that's funny. I found the engineer. He's, uh... 
He locked in a box. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him alive too. I I like the small existential horror of these uh, uh <laughs> of these poor wage slaves finding out that uh, uh everyone is dead. I mean, obviously kind of awful, but at the same time, I don't know. You think the wage slave uh fi finishes uh because there's no way I'm reading the words motor, coil, and explosion for the second time today. I mean, on the confident scale, that's way past immediate firing and right into left for dead on crumbling planet. You feel me? Do not let the last coil go down. Now, do any of these doors unlock? Doesn't look like it. So how do we get over there? Oh, it's over here. Uh, I'm just going to end turn. I don't entirely know how I'm going to get through in there. Oh, hi. Let's see. He's right here. So if I just plunk this guy right here and wait for him, he dies. Uh, let's go stick our heads in this vent, because this is a new vent. Is it? Yeah. Where the heck does... Oh! This just plonks this out right there. Okay, that's less helpful. I guess I better start getting the rest of my guys out here somewhere. I'm a cruel one, Wanderbot. No, man! They can, they can sell the, uh, they can sell the ship. Wage slaves don't have to work anymore. Maybe maybe they'll just, uh... Oh, dude. That is a great plot for uh, the Starfinder campaign. Uh, initial bit is uh, alien outbreak survival situation. And then after that, uh, <laughs> you have the ship because everyone else is dead. Oh, I need to get working on that. Unfortunately, we got to finish Grave of Man before I ever make a Starfinder campaign. But that would be really amusing. Hello. Goodbye. Okay, so it looks like there's a third section over here. Probably it doesn't have the coil in it, though. I guess I sort of took the long, long, wrong way around. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, so this probably opens up when we're done. Oh, right, I was going to go save the robot. Well, I'm going to go see if I can save the robot. I'd actually love to play an alternate version of this game where you play as, uh, where it's a robot uprising and instead, instead of, you know, uh, alien survival kind of situation. Is this guy actually moving around? He is. I'm just going to move over to the sides here. I don't ex entirely know where he's going. But if we're lucky, he's going to walk right out and die. Which is kind of what we're going for. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I guess I'll just have this guy hang it over here. They have a very limited uh, view. Okay, can I do anything with this robot? No, he is he is quite stuck, and I can't do anything about it. Can I can I consume it? I I can't even consume a robot. That's unfortunate. Oh. Well, in the grand scheme of things, that works even better, actually. Yeah, sort of. I don't know. Hello. Welcome. Hmm. 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 Didn't work out so hot for you. Okay, uh, I'm just going to move the matriarch in here. Probably on this section. So we've got two. Luckily, they're also blind, and I don't think they move. <laughs> and they desperately need some glasses. Oh, boy. Oh, we have a vent here. Oh, there's the vent. Well, that's a conven that's a convenient little vent if I ever saw one. Can, can I pop out? Uh, I can head over here. But I'd have no AP left. We'll just wait for a little while. 
Okay, so... Should, should we let Chet out now? Nah, give him 10 more minutes. How about... A while? They have only... Well, I guess technically they can blame me for, for their actions, but ultimately they only have themselves to blame. Anyway, let's destroy the last gen. No, we have to wait for the we have to wait for the animations to end. Okay, so I'm gonna break this. Was that it? And there goes number three. That's it. I'm sending down some guys to teach you a lesson in discipline you'll never forget. Getting some non-human life signs here, Becker. Christ, really? Apologies, everyone. I thought you were just brain dead. No, dead, dead. Well, boys, looks like your disciplinary exercise has just become a bog-standard alien elimination. Can't win them all. <laughs> okay, higher health levels. Sometimes an individual's damage may be too low to kill an enemy in one hit. If an enemy survives an attack, they will attempt to shoot back. Group attack is useful against enemies with high HP. You can launch several attacks on the same enemy at once, dispatching them. Yeah. All right. Already got that. So where are they? They're over here. They're probably coming out of these doors. Probably should have actually left my matriarch in this general area. Instead, with maybe some more AP. Oh, well. Anyway, new goal. Uh, have everybody race for the finish. Let's see. Empty vent. Full vent. I don't know if either of them are going to come out this way, but I figured... figure I might as well have a... Uh, oops. I might as well do some overwatches, just in case. We might lose some dudes, but, like, I don't care. I mean, do you... St oops. I should have done it on the diagonal. Uh... Let's... There we go. You can actually... You can actually change that afterwards. Oh, that's really nice. You can't undo movements, but, you know, whatever. And these guys are still here, just... Just having their little splash fight. It's cute. Almost. Okay, can the matriarch get out here? I don't actually know if these, uh... Okay, they are... They are coming this way. Well, doorways are my best bet here. At least for now. There's only two. Eventually, we're probably going to have a lot more, uh, a lot more enemies coming out after me. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Not much. I guess we just wait. So I don't know where the other guy is. And so, if, how much HP does he have? Oh, 35. Well, that makes this easier. Because I only I only need uh, two aliens to get after them then. He might come out that door. We've still got a turn. Okay. Yeah, so the other guy's gonna come out this door. Yeah. Okay, so he, he kills that one, kind of figured. This is more of a problem. Okay, it's my turn. Okay, I'm gonna hide him in here. I don't know where he's going. Can I... can I overwatch? Can I not overwatch from the box? Guess I can't. Uh... Because I'm just gonna take him the long way around. And I'm just gonna make another... another little thrall. We'll wait here. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? Not much. Just waiting. 
Because this guy is, should just immediately die. This guy's more of a problem because I didn't have uh, the right setup for him. Main question is, where is he going? Secondary question is, does it matter? I don't know if he's going to shoot me if I run across his line of sight. He, uh, he does. Okay. Well, does it always work? Okay, so he doesn't immediately shoot back. He was on Overwatch, but he only gets one shot at it. Okay, well that makes it easier. Oh, uh, by the way, um, once you've dealt with our guests, head up to Seven. Dickenham's picking out lobster for dinner and wants some extra protection after last week's pinching incident. Guys? <laughs> I like this game. It's, um, charming. Getting started. Uh, you guys can't see the achievement, but it is a baby supermanning through the sky. So, death penalty. I lost 30, turns taken, par bonus. Yeah, what was the par, par turns 24? Well, luckily, oh, mutagen awarded. So, you can actually grind for upgrades. How do we do? What do I use mutagen on? Where do I use mutagen on anything? Uh, well, oh well, don't care. Uh, we're just, we're just gonna go with this now. Yeah, supposedly there's an upgrade system somewhere. I guess I'll have to find it later. This game is funny. Yeah, I, I actually rather like it. Um. Okay, so we're just gonna save for now.